Sydney Cornea Clinic is a specialty boutique ophthalmologist practice with our emphasis on a positive individual experience. Whether to restore vision from cataracts or to help eliminate glasses through LASIK surgery, our mission statement is to restore your vision. Dr. John Malesh, our principal ophthalmologist, will be discussing cataract surgery. So a cataract is uh, a clouding of the natural lens of the eye. The eye works like a camera, so it has uh, optical elements in the front, lenses, and it has a film in the back, which is the retina. So the natural lens of the eye uh, helps focus the light from the outside onto the retina, which is like the film in the camera. You can get a clouding of the natural lens of the eye, and that's what a cataract is, where the proteins and water within the lens, which are normally completely clear, start to become more obscured and more cloudy. The biggest risk group for cataracts is the population over the age of 50. There are a number of other risk factors for cataracts, including other conditions such as diabetes and people who need to use medications such as steroids. Also, there is a group of cataract patients uh, with congenital cataract, where the cataract happens at an earlier age. There are other hereditary conditions that can cause cataracts, such as Marfan syndrome. The symptoms of cataract surgery develop over time and they can be quite gradual, and sometimes for that reason it can be difficult to pick up the earliest signs of cataract. The earliest symptoms of cataract are often under low light conditions, for example, with night driving or when trying to read under low light conditions, such as reading in bed. People often notice that they get glare or halos around lights, such as traffic lights or headlights in cars, or they find reading difficult. Other symptoms develop over time as well, and these include a general blurriness of vision, difficulty with reading under better light conditions, and often people become progressively more short-sighted with cataracts as well, so that the distance vision becomes more blurred. So cataracts can cause progressively more cloudy vision, and they can make colours appear different and tend to be more yellow-tinged over time. Cataracts can also make your vision change so that your spectacles need changing more frequently. There are a number of lifestyle factors which can put you at high risk for cataract development. These include smoking and excessive exposure to ultraviolet light. So changing these risk factors can change how quickly cataracts develop and can prevent the need for cataract surgery for a later time in your life. A cataract is detected with a comprehensive examination which we perform in the office. The first step of the examination is to check your vision with an eye chart and after this we dilate your pupils to check for cataracts. We check your eyes with a microscope known as a slit lamp and then we perform further tests to check the shape of the eye in preparation for cataract surgery. So a cataract can't be treated with drops or spectacles. A cataract can only be treated with surgery. The most common surgery that we perform for cataracts is phacoemulsification, which is micro-incision cataract surgery. Many people develop cataracts over the age of 50. Often in the beginning, patients just have to be monitored by their ophthalmologist. Your ophthalmologist will monitor your vision and let you know when your cataracts are progressing. Patients often need surgery for cataracts when they notice symptoms of starbursts at night or hazy images during the day. Once you have discussed the cataract surgery with your ophthalmologist, you can expect that cataract surgery will be done in either an accredited day facility or as a day patient with no overnight stay. Typically, uncomplicated cataract surgery can take as little as 10 minutes. However, the norm is 20 to 30 minutes, including pre and post-op care. Prior to surgery, your eyes will be dilated with eye drops. Next, your anaesthetist will give you sedation and numb the eye with both drops and a local anaesthetic injection. Next, a special surgical tool will be used to make at least one small incision into the eye. A fluid substance called viscoelastic will be injected into the eye to help stabilise the anterior and to maintain eye pressure. A hollow tip is then inserted into the eye in the most common procedure called phacoemulsification. With this method, ultrasonic energy travels through the phaco tip to break apart the cataract. As the cataract is shattered, the phaco tip vacuums out the broken fragments. Keep in mind that the cataract is the eye's own natural lens that has become cloudy. So when the cataract is removed, so is your lens. This means you'll need an artificial lens as a replacement. A usually folded acrylic intraocular lens is inserted and opens into the cavity where your natural lens was once located. Most people don't require any stitches after cataract surgery because the wound is so small it heals itself. After the procedure is finished, your ophthalmologist will instill some antibiotic ointment with dressing 
and a hard plastic eye shield for extra protection is recommended to wear your eye shield for about a week after surgery when sleeping to avoid rubbing the eye. After cataract surgery, you will be given instructions on how many times to instill your drops to avoid infection. It typically takes a month for the eye to heal and for vision to stabilise. Patients normally notice vision is much sharper shortly after surgery. Cataract surgery is one of the safest and most common medical procedures in the world. However, you will need to be monitored after your surgery at post-operative visits to monitor for any complications. Microincision cataract surgery is the most common form of cataract surgery that we perform because under most circumstances there are no stitches required and the recovery in your vision is very quick. At Sydney Cornea Clinic, as well as offering phacoemulsification, we offer laser-assisted cataract surgery. One of the most important decisions is what type of lens to use and what vision outcome we are looking for. We can use what are called monofocal lenses, which can give you good distance vision. We can offer toric lenses, which give uh, vision correction for astigmatism. We also offer multifocal lenses, which give you distance and close vision. When you come for a consult, we can discuss the various pros and cons of these techniques and which is suitable for you.